You are a very scrumptious pop tart. We are revisiting this topic on Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex. Real DeFi. I like them. They are still contrarian. They are still hated. It is still anti consensus. You are not buying the tops. You are buying something that is hated. This is what I do. Contrarian investing is the only way to go. There is no other way. Don't give me this momentum trading trash. Momentum traders statistically get destroyed in the stock market. Statistically get destroyed in everything else. Momentum is a bunch of hocus pocus. Yes, it has moments where it works. But guess what? Markets range 80% of the time. You're going to be buying the tops and selling the bottoms. No one knows how to do it properly. I know how to do it properly. And guess what? When you learn how to do that properly, you realize long-term gains, contrarian, buying low, selling high, way underperforms it, way overperforms it. Excuse me, look at you, we're gonna pump some music. Warren Buffett buys low, sells high. All the greatest investors buy low, sell high, every single one. Do you understand that? Yes, you do, you are my friend. Do you know what's contrary and you're looking at it right now? Have you heard of a little coin called Bitcoin? Maybe you've seen the logo around sometime. It's actually a cryptocurrency, you heard of that? Bitcoin was super contrarian at the start. Satoshi, a random anonymous dude on the internet. You don't even know who he is. You don't know what color socks he's wearing. You can't even see the angle of his back, whether it's hunched or whether it's straight. Guess what? It pumped 20,000 X from the start. 20,000 times your money. Then the next one, it was still contrarian. It's a scam. It's a cult. They're all weirdos. It was all true. Doesn't matter. Pump 600 X from the low. Da Vinci J15 and Richard Hart bought here, by the way. What about the next cycle? Here we go again, still contrarian. They said it's a better money. No one believed them. Bang, 100x from the low. Mount Gox Ponzi cycle, recovering. 80% of the world's volume, gone. But you know what's not gone? Our friendship. That's why you like, subscribe, belly button and all, by the way. Family, friendly show. As we approach our timeline, the market got more mature. It became less consensus. That's why you only got a 20x in the last cycle. That's with 0% rates. Infinite QE, 16 trillion in negative yielding bonds. Tesla bought Bitcoin. Elon Musk shielded. Michael, Sa Michael Chad Saylor, everybody pumping. Guess what? Still wasn't enough. We got scammed at the top. I made many videos on it. I look for anti consensus. I don't care about reputation. You shouldn't either. Why? Because reputation you can't cash out on in euphoria. Think about it. Comparing the sacrifices of Pulse Chain and Pulsex is a very interesting topic. We have to revisit it. Many people still don't know. If you go to gopulse.com, you can see this button here, include OA. Make sure you press exclude OA. You will be able to see the true market caps of PulseX, of Hex. There's also eHex as well. And Pulse. You see that? It's about three and a half billion. If you include the OA, the numbers are huge. It's 10 billion plus 3 billion plus 9 billion. Market cap is a trick. Do you understand? Yes, it can be gamed. Yes, market cap is useful. Yes, market cap works. However, if you buy something purely based off market cap, it's a losing strategy. If you reject real DeFi such as Hex, Pulse Chain, and PulseX, if you reject them from your buy order because of the market cap, you haven't done your research. That's why you watch me. That's why I appreciate you. What about the sacrifice phases that were done? Sacrifice phase, a non-security, non-investment, random lottery thing, just so happened to give you free airdrop tokens, was done. Pulse Chain and Pulse X, were they big? Nominal prices were big, but were they big compared to the rest of the market? No, they weren't. I went and did the research myself. Look at this. Binance, BNB coin, which is very high up the ranking, very high, BNB. Number four, it's actually number three altcoin because number three is actually Tether on the ranking. When you have Binance, its raise was 0.022% of total crypto. So you go to the raise, you go look at what total crypto's worth was at that time and you find the percentage. How much money did you raise compared to the whole piece of the pie, the whole pie? I did this number for Ethereum, Cardanzo. And then I compared them to Pulse Chain and Pulse X. And guess what? I have the numbers here, okay? Cardano was one of the biggest raises in crypto, to my shock. And guess what? Cardano still did a 420x right off its ICO in 2017. And then it was one of the best performing altcoins 
in 2021, even with an enormous raise. The power there shows you what's possible. Pulse Chain and Pulse X were not that big. Look at this. Cardano was 0.6%. Ethereum was 0.3%. Look at Pulse Chain and Pulse X. Less than five. Very small as a percentage of the entire crypto market cap. Ethereum was six times bigger than Pulse and Pulse X. And it still pumped 15,500x from its ICO from 31 cents to 4,950 dollars. That's big. That's juicy. That deserves some friendship music. You know, Cardano was 12 times bigger. 12 times bigger than Pulse and Pulse X. It still pumped 1,000. 280x. Can you believe that from the ICO? I did not know that. Wow. I did know that. That's why I did this for you, by the way. 1,280x. You got 1,000x on your Cardanzo. BNB pumped 5,200x. BNB was only 50% smaller than Pulse Chain and Pulse X. One of the criticisms was that we raised too much money for Pulse Chain and Pulse X. Actually, we didn't. We didn't raise too much at all. We raised a big nominal number. But as a percentage of everything, it was pretty good. But don't take my word for it. Let's go look at what the market thinks. I made this recently. Justin, the uni coin. So this is uni BTC. Look at this red arrow here. You see this red arrow up here? That was the day that fake DeFi Uniswap delisted Hex. <laughs> just want to let you know, friends. The crypto industry is just like traditional finance. There are humans. There are reptilians. There are people on your side, against your side. There are politics, people going up, down, left, right. Everybody's trying to make money, reputation. There's backstabbing. There's mistresses. There's illegal substances everywhere. The only difference is we have blockchain technology to show actions being conducted. It is transparent. But when we get our information from centralized sources such as YouTube, such as Twitter Rooney, such as CoinGecko, Coin Market Crap, any of the main websites, you can't trust them. The database is on their server. They can just right click and edit the database, and we can't see what they're doing. Fake DeFi Uniswap has a front end, a fake DeFi front end. They charge you more money for it now, and surprise, surprise, the market didn't like what they have to offer. That's why I don't take my word for it. This is a candle combo going down, minus 47%. This is uni versus BTC. They delist Hex on August 2nd, 2023. The Ethereum World News website. So Ethereum have a World News website where they report on everything. They went out of their way to mention that Hex got delisted from Uniswap. Ha ha, you got taken down by the SEC. Really? How'd the market react to you? Tell me, you can see it. Minus 47%. Suck on that. Keep me back straight too, by the way. If you go down to the bottom, you can actually see my news here. Breaking news, Uniswap token dumps to multi-year lows after the Uniswap Foundation was caught trying to sell $43 million of UNI token. What is UNI? UNI is a fake governance token. You buy it, you're supposed to vote on something, but guess what? All the best votes that you want to do, like activate the, fo the free protocol switch to pump the price 30 to 50x, that gets rejected because they're working with the corrupt SEC. They are having public secret meetings with the SEC, it is recorded. They are working with them. They are part of the reptilians, part of the bug eaters. They've chosen to backstab the crypto industry. They're going to be a main character in the next season. Probably, they're going to be backstabbing us. Get ready. What is your interpretation of this? Firstly, confirm our friendship in the comment section. Secondly, the market rejected fake DeFi Uniswaps, fake governance token. Uniswap Foundation tried to secretly dump $43 million. They gave their money to Wintermute, aka Winter Poop. They sent it to Kraken. They mean dumping. If the market really wanted it, 
we would be absorbing it. Does this look like does this look like absorption to you? No. This looks like Doomtown. And rightfully so. The market favors real DeFi. Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X. Real DeFi wants you to increase your value of the network if you participate. Okay? It is a network. It is more attuned to an investment contract with just a group of anonymous people around the internet, which you don't know. It is not a security. No one has a legal obligation to pump your bags. It's very risky. Or is it risky? Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. We're lucky it works in the first place, but guess what? We know it doesn't work, and what doesn't work is dumping on innocent people. Fake DeFi Uniswap, they don't even care. There are no buyers. The market is sending a signal that it prefers Real DeFi, not fake DeFi. So when we look at the actual price charts, luckily for you, if you have friends and family, you get to cheat. When I was in school, I had a maths teacher. He used to say to us, I'm going to let you cheat in the maths exam. And we're like, whoa, he's going to let us cheat, man. And what he used to do was drum us up for about 10 minutes and then say, okay, to cheat, all you have to do is learn this formula. <laughs> so it wasn't really cheating. It was just showing us shortcuts. It was giving us advantages. Let me tell you something. You have an advantage here too. You get to buy the pain of all of us who sacrificed two years ago. You get to buy the pain of people who are offside in Pulse and Pulse X. Okay. Real DeFi, what a coincidence. I guarantee you one thing though. Most people around you are too afraid to pull the trigger. Why? It's because, you see this big fat green candle? You see that? They want that to happen again. They want to see a weekly candle do 13x. That's 1,200%. That's what they want to see. After a 13x weekly candle, then they're going to tell me it's cheap. Well, let me tell you something. If I had a pair of Nikes and they were 100 bucks, and then next week they're now 1,300, are you going to buy them off me? Nope. You'll tell me to go F myself. Well, let me tell you this. How come with assets that actually are designed to increase your position in life, how come when they go up, you don't think they're expensive? You think they're cheap. We know why, okay? This is how it works with humans and consumption and delaying gratification. We know it is. This way, it's just a rhetorical question. But you got to remember, that's what the crowd is thinking like. That's what the crowd is doing. Right now, these things are cheap. I'm not a financial advisor. Go speak to one. Go buy bonds. See how that works out. I like them. Tick a pulse. Tick a pulse X. Get on pulse chain. Get on pulse X. Tell mum and dad. They should probably buy some too. Or you can stick with bonds and stocks, friends. I'm just telling you right now. You want the reward. You got to sit through the risk. Catch you in the next one.